the new scoring wheel. The scoring wheel is amazing. I will find them, but if you can, the best thing to do when you have questions and you really want it answered, put it in all caps. Copy it if you can, because if I miss it or we're going over something else, I don't have to go way to the back, wait until I'm more ready for questions and then paste them again. That way I'm gonna see your question and other people will see your question. Somebody in the uh, comments may answer your question, but I would like to answer questions uh, if I can too. So let me start out with this. You are watching Melody Lane. With me you're gonna have a great crafting time. Here's a blade. Everybody should recognize this blade. Everybody who has an Explore series or maker has this blade. This is the, this should be a premium fine point blade or German carbide blade. I think they're the exact same thing and they just changed the name and they changed the packaging. Replacements for this, here's how you take it out. You just take it out like that replacements for this and to put it back in I push that in I don't think you really have to put it in and put it in that way and just push it down I push it down with my nail and the little part here not the tip although I could do the tip but I don't want to ruin the tip or cut myself when you buy the replacements for these these are the red caps or white caps if they're changing the packaging i think to all white caps and they say premium fine point blade if you go on the website you're going to see a red cap and it may say german and you will receive a white cap it's the same thing so that's this do we have any questions on this we also have these two these two are the exact same thing as this they're the same the same blades, different color housings. That's the difference. They call the pink one the bonded fabric blade. The reason is if you're cutting paper with the silver one, the paper dulls your scissors, paper dulls the blade. Just like with fabric, fabric, um, you have different scissors for fabric and I know when I was little, if I knew somebody that was sewing or something, my mom's, um, or my friend, my friend's mom was sewing all the time. She's always sewing. And uh, we'd go play at her house. If we went to her sewing room and took her scissors, oh my gosh, you would think we just uh, stole a million dollars. You know, you do not use fabric scissors for paper. So they stay sharp. So this one will stay sharp if you keep it for fabric. If you don't cut fabric, it's okay. You can use it for anything you want. The gold one is the same thing. I What I do, okay, to be honest, I don't do it. But in my head, the best thing to do for me, this is for paper, this is for vinyl. Vinyl does not dull the blade as much as paper. So the paper one, depending on how much you use it though, the paper blade, cutting paper will not last as long. So I cut poster board and all acetate and all those things. Thanks for subscribing, Tanya. So if you want to you keep your blades longer, you'll use one for vinyl, one for fabric, and one for paper. Does that make sense for these? I also want to let you guys know, I did a video the other day giving away a ticket to the Cricut makeup on so you'll have to go watch that video enter there's lots of ways to enter so we're good on those does everybody understand the difference in these three blades there is no difference but it's good to have the different colors so your blade will last the longest now we have this one this one so the black one is the deep oh wait the deep cut blade you can see the point on the deep cut blade is a little longer like the sharpness is longer the point is smaller at the bottom of the point so not only is this for deep cutting thicker materials it's for intricate cuts and we have to thank jamie the moderator on my channel and the admin for my cricut design space with melody lane facebook group she discovered that thanks jamie for discovering that the deep cut blade 
is good for intricate cuts. Now, if you're just using it for intricate cuts and not for deep cutting things, you can use the deep cut blade in any of these other housings. So you can actually use the refill for the deep cut blade in these housings. You don't have to have the deep cut blade if you're only using it for intricate cuts, but I prefer to have it just so I know which blade is which. It's just easy to switch them out and to know what, what is what. These blades that I just showed you are for all the machines, okay? All machines. And then we have the rotary blade. This rotary blade comes with the maker. So if you have a maker, this comes with your machine. It is like a big handheld rotary cutter for fabric and it rolls across and cuts. This does not work on any of the other machines. Any of the tools with a gear like that does not work on the other machines. This doesn't fit in. The Cricut Maker has 4,000 grams of pressure. The Explore machines only go up to 360 grams of pressure. The Explore machines have more plastic insides. The Maker is more metal insides, so they don't break. So many people ask, why can't we just upgrade to these tools? Why couldn't they make these tools for the Explore? Why do we have to buy a new machine? Because the other machines don't have the pressure. That's why the maker costs so much more because it costs them so much more to make. It's made with stronger materials to withstand the pressure that they need to cut the materials it cuts. Okay, and then the knife blade has the same gears and I have video on changing the knife blade. I'm not gonna show you that now. This cuts balsa wood, basswood, only up to, I think, 1 16th of an inch and on the help Cricut help has all those dimensions and everything it does it does leather it does thick leather it does tooling leather it does chipboard up to two millimeters Cricut made their own chipboard because they made it to work well with this they made high quality chipboard small chipboard does not cut as well because it's more fibrous it's not made to cut in a machine Yes, and the Maker does everything else the Explore machines do. Anything the Explore machines do, the Maker can do better. You know, like that song, Anything You Can Do, I Can Do Better. The new scoring wheel. The scoring wheel is amazing. Okay, so scoring wheels like this. So the scoring wheel has a single score and a double score. So you get one housing, there's four ways that you're going to be able to buy this. You're going to be able to buy it like this. You're going to be able to buy this separately. You're going to be able to buy them together. And so to change this, it's like the other ones. You push the plunger and it comes out. If you don't, don't drop it. If you don't push the plunger, I gotta match up those shapes, you know, like those little colored boxes for kids. <laughs> okay, see, if I don't push the plunger, I can't get it in. So push the plunger, and then I cannot pull it out without pushing the plunger. Pushing the plunger changes it, and then you can change to the double scoring wheel. The double scoring wheel is used for thicker materials like poster board and things like that, so you don't have those cracks in it so they're for thicker material so it doesn't crack you know like if you were to fold poster board the like the foil poster board in half it kind of you kind of see a crack it's not a real clean score or fold does that make sense so that's what the double one is for they also say the double one is for glitter paper i like the single one on glitter paper is what i found for myself oh i was going to show you the difference in the scoring on acetate okay so this is my acetate i scored with the scoring tool the scoring stylus this scored this you can't see any score lines i can't see any either it didn't work this one was scored 
with the see how all those score lines that they're diagonal and straight this was scored with the scoring wheel okay scoring wheel that scored really well and it's easy to fold then I tried the double scoring wheel. So this is the double scoring wheel on acetate. I don't know if the double is actually recommended for the acetate. When you choose your material in design space, it will tell you to use the single or double. Okay, so there's the double score wheel. Okay, now here's the single, or this one is the scoring stylus. I can barely, barely see a line going across the bottom, but I can't see anything else scored. So it does make a difference. I went over all the tools. Do we have any questions? Yes. Any tool that has this metal thing and this gold up here are all for the maker. So I wanted to talk about the score tool thing because even though you don't have a score tool right now, it's in design space and you have to switch it from the score tool. Go, we're gonna click make it. We have a star here with a score line for no reason at all, just to show you this. Okay, here it is, we're gonna continue. It's gonna select my maker. We're gonna set material. Let's just do cardstock for now. And it's gonna say scoring wheel but you don't have the scoring wheel. So does that mean you can't score? If you keep it like this and try to continue, it's not gonna let you do it. You have to go to edit tools. It's not a big deal. Just click edit, choose your tool. Choose the scoring stylus, continue. So now it says load your scoring stylus, load your fine point blade, and then load your mat. That's all you have to do. Thank you everyone for watching and here's a shout out to just a few of the people who support my channel on Patreon. Jennifer, Vivian, Kimberly, Carla, Deborah, Becky, Patricia, Bonnie, Stephanie, Bebe, Carol, Trish, Sandy, Cheryl, Jerry, Lynn, Donna, Christy, Mel, Sharon, Mercedes, Julie, Lindsay, Denise, Tina, Debbie, Susan, Samantha, Claudette, Mandy, Misty, Jen, Darla, Heather, Kathy, Julie, Megan, Stacy, Melinda, Zoila, Nisha, Julie, Samantha, Naomi, Sharon, Janet, Lydia, Carolyn. Thanks, guys.